Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the spider today. A lot of you guys on the channel have requested more light mech gameplay, and here we go, we're gonna be playing a classic, the good old Spider 5k. Back in the days it was really cool because it had a ridiculous energy cooldown quirk. It got reshifted a bit and it also got hit by the rescale, so it's not that great anymore, but still, I wanted to see what I can still do with the good old Spider 5k. Now, the drawback of this mech here is is that it only has one energy hard point but it has as I was saying a quirk for that so we can actually shoot that one energy weapon that we put in a bit faster it used to be 50% energy cooldown reduction now it's only 20% you can do a little bit with the cooldown skills on top of that so we get to 32 but it's not even near the 50% still we have a single large pulse laser that fires quite quickly and we got a bunch of light machine guns two in each arm to actually complement the build and shoot at the enemy's internals when they are open and when they have no armor anymore. By the way, a little bit of side note, I was pretty aggressive with my light machine gun gameplay and um, I only have one ton of ammo. So early on, you should really not shoot them unless you want to get an intimidation factor on your enemies. Machine guns are actually quite a psychological weapon. If there is machine gun pling 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 on your armor and you are a single out assault mech who is, um, you know, fallen behind in the line, you usually try to just get your back against the wall and try to, you know, get away from this position. So a lot of people freak out when they're getting hit by machine guns because that means that their imminent death is imminent basically. So uh, we're gonna use them as a um, intimidation weapon today and we are running light machine guns because they have an extended range and they bring more ammo per ton of uh, ammunition which means we can shoot more often. So it's kind of like a nice balance in terms of uh, we don't need to be point blank and with only four machine guns we are not dealing that much therefore uh, light machine guns for harassment and for some mid-range fighting today. The engine is an XL245. We have to add another double heatsink in here to get to the 10 that are needed to run the build and make it viable. Um, you could of course drop a jump jet and uh, go to an XL255 or even uh, go for a regular large laser instead of the large pulse uh, in order to get the engine upgraded. But I think 132 kph are just enough for the mech. And speaking about jump jets, we got two of them, which means we have some verticality as well. We can get over obstacles. We can, for example, in Canyon Network, get into the trench and then get up again and do a nice little backstepping side flanking harassment maneuver. Let's talk about the skills before we get in the games, guys. Our firepower tree is almost maxed out because I wanted to get as much, and I repeat, as much cooldown as possible. We got all the cooldown nodes, so we can really make that one large pulse laser count. And in order to make it even fire faster, we're gonna take the laser duration. And yes, you heard me right. We're gonna take laser duration to make the laser fire faster. That's because the cooldown will only start after the weapon is finished firing. And when you have a lengthy laser beam, then only at the end, when the weapon is stopped firing, the cooldown starts ticking down. That means the shorter the duration, the better it is for your overall DPS here. We also take magazine capacity for our machine gun ammo because again, one ton is you know, a little bit low, a little bit on the edge there and a bit of heat gen on the way down. Although, I gotta say, um, you could probably experiment a bit and not take all the heat gen notes that are on the outskirts here like, like those. You can just take that and have a good time because... We only have one laser and we don't necessarily need all of that. The remaining points, the 11 remaining points, you can easily put into survivability because this mech here, I think it's fast enough for a light mech um, in its kind of range bracket. We shoot at about 400 meters and um, we can, you know, we are not really point blank in the face of the enemy and have to be super fast. Therefore, I'm going to skip speed week completely and I'm going to get some more armor. And again, the remaining 11 points could easily go into structure if you want to. We also don't need operations. What I was going for for though is radar deprivation and uh, seismic sensor. I forgot to put this, the last seismic sensor on here. That was very important. And then uh, we got double cool shot and a double artillery. But again, I was uh, having a wrong build here. I would say double UAV plus double artillery is the better way. So you see a little bit of a different thing than I just you know told you right now in the games. It was just, I didn't take a look at the skills before. But anyway, that's the build, and I hope you have a good time on uh, the video here. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and 
Now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing Domination on the Canyon Network. So let's let's get going, guys. I actually don't want to go to the left side because I expect a lot of enemies there. So we're going to try to go to the right side here. I think the important thing next to going to the right side is also staying down in cover because I have no intention getting an early shot into my legs or arms because I need those arms in the late game. So what are we doing now? We're going to go to Delta 4. We have somebody else with us here. It's, a, it's another spider. Hey! Hey, Spiderlings, unite. Let's go. But I want to go up here because I expect some enemies that I could possibly... Yeah, possibly not shoot. Anyway, into their backs we go. Here we go, up to the high ground. We have... Oh, whoa. whoa. That stuttered like crazy. It's an ER large laser warhammer. Oh boy, and we are getting shot in the butt. That is not good at all. So we're going to shoot that warhammer a bit. And this is what we're going to be doing here. Ooh, missiles coming. Hey, there's still a missile bo boat, bo boat, boat. There's a missile boat still sitting here on the side. Let's check out what we can do against him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wh why is? I don't know, guys. I there's something horribly wrong with my with my keyboard bindings lately. I don't know why. I don't know what. I don't know how. But hey, here we are. We have an ATM boat. Oh god, ATMs will destroy me if I stay here. So let's actually let's stay here. Yeah, yeah. Destroy me when I stay here. I know, I know, I know. But we have friends, I just realized. And I am certainly not a target of this guy anymore, am I? I might be. But at the same time... Yeah. We have, a, we have him pushed down there. Perfect. So, one kill is on our side. One kill is on the enemy side as well. And we're gonna go somewhere else now. Let's see. Sa saving the center? Uh, there seems to be a big rotation going on. So, what can we do? What is there to do, actually? We can oh, crap! That was a big hit. Okay, okay, okay. Nicely done, mister. Gotta say. I'm gonna... Ah, uh, miss. Mm, I, I tried to try to actually drop an artillery strike there. Couldn't get it out because it was already taken by somebody else. But what we can do now is take that very risky maneuver to the other side of the battlefield because there was a PPC shooter here. And again, we want to go in the bags of those guys, harass them, make it so that they're... Oh, freaking hell. Let's go. Oh, boy. Let's get out of here. Oh, he shut down. That's good. We're gonna try to take his... I don't know, is that possible? He is already very damaged and there's help coming in. Oh no, oh no, problem is that's a, oh that's a heavy PPC. Yes, heavy PPCs have no power here. As soon as we have them, them lasers down, that is not gonna be a problem anymore. So, we're gonna stay on him. You can see the shredding potential of the light machine guns is not really the best, but okay. Well then, uh, yeah, he's basically down and we gotta dodge the missiles that are coming in from the outskirts. So. Next up, oh god, artillery up there, and a shot to the face once more. We have to get out of here, really. This is not a good spot for us anymore. You know what? There's one more thing. Instead of trying to rotate around, I'm gonna counter rotate, trying to get in their backs by staying in the trench. I think this is a better maneuver right now, because it's faster. It gets us faster to where we want to be. Lots of UAVs up, though. That is a problem for me. But I think it is time to regroup with the team and get some more damage out. So, on the light max there. We can actually shoot them in the back with the machine guns from this point. Uh, kind of make them a little bit uncomfortable, I hope. And I hope that we could also critical damage some people here. That's how you say it. You critical damage them. <laughs> okay, I wish I had another artillery strike, which I have. And my friends are actually going in there right now. Okay, was there still somebody? No, he's dead. All right, fine. So, four and five. Not looking great, I gotta say. We gotta try to get some kills here. Maybe on that Warhammer. Um... The pulse laser is pulsing. We have five and six. And we have a bunch of lights and mediums still on the board on our side. I don't know what the enemies have. They have a big rotation going on. That's what's going on here. What about the Warhammer? There's a black... That was damaged, right? He was very damaged. Yes. Let's go for his center as much as possible. And we get a kill. Very nice. Keeping up with the rotation. That kill was very important. Artemis Brawler. Oh, boy. Uh, let's go for the assassin. Assassins are nasty as hell. But maybe we can actually get him here. Problem is that our machine guns are about to about to fail because ammo is low. We got a kill though. So again, the squishy targets, the the ones that are already damaged have to go. We got to confirm the kills here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, that's a double snub PPC Panther. Oh shit. Let's get the stalker somehow. And we do another circle because we want to be in their backs. My legs don't look great anymore. I gotta say that. What about the urban mag? Can we kill that thing? We can try. We can certainly... There's another one of those. Holy crap. And that's my leg. Well shot. 
That was the panther with the snubs going for my legs here. And he was all over the place. He was on me. And uh, now it's time to probably die. Actually, there's one more thing. I can try to disarm him. Let's go. Um, let's try to stay on him. And especially on his arm. Get the arm of the panther. He's disarmed then. <laughs> disarmed, literally. What's that? Uh, that's the assassin. Cool. Ignore the panther. He is without weapons. And that's what I could do. Damn it. That SRM barrage got right to my face. We dealt 600 damage, though. Very nice. It's a 10 and 10 situation. The assassin, the enemy assassin, still dealing massive amounts of damage. Uh, that's not a good target. Go for the assassin. The panther has no weapons. Oh, no. He is doing the wrong thing. I mean, yeah, he got the kill. But for what cost? At what cost? Can he finish him? Oh, 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 yeah. Nice shot. Gotta say, that was well-timed. Oh, you just need to finish him now. Can you do that? Can you make it happen? Down to one small laser. What else do we have? Four PPCs on the Warhammer. Who is fresh? So, enemy shut down. Give him broom. Give him... No, wait. Oh, it could have been so good. No. And now we have the Warhammer against uh, the assassin. Try to get distance. You need that angle, buddy. You need that angle. All right. What a nail biter. 11 and 11. Holy crap. Um, he's probably coming from Charlie 4. That's where I would go. I don't know, maybe he's on, up here on the high ground. Holy crap. What is going on here? I mean, our Warhammer is in a good state. But enemies... The enemy is out of the circle. There he is. Alright, so he was taking that shot. Yeah, let's... Come on, please. Watch it, buddy. Watch it. Good targeting there, gotta say. He spotted the enemy, which is super smart. And that's the last artillery strike. He got a hit out. That was great. Nope. Nope. Oh, that thing is so damaged. And I wonder if he still has ammunition. I mean, that's an SRM-6 assassin, which means uh, he was going for bigger alpha strikes, but less uh, ammunition, I believe. Oh, pull back, buddy, pull back. You're putting yourself into a weird spot where you cannot really get a hit in. It's on the right side, right? I would go to that side, to the right side, to like over here. The area is on the left. Okay, miss assessment. Good hit. And we got him. Wow! What a game! I love that! <laughs> Good game, guys. 11 and 12. I haven't had that in a while. And I'm so happy that our Warhammer friend here still had all of the armor and uh, a bunch of PPCs, which actually gave him the better matchup against the Assassin. So, let's see what we did here. We got a killing blow, we got 11 assists, 2 kill, most damage dealt, 600 damage down, 240 taken, and 4 components destroyed. That was the first round, so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexes. We are playing Skirmish, and we have a Raven here. I am very interested in building up a nice team with the Raven because it brings ECM to the table, and it's kind of running the same speed that we are running, which is uh, pretty nice. So let's let's go ahead and take this guy as our battle buddy. I wonder what he is running there. He has the name Support on his back. So, I don't know if he's narking, if he's shooting lasers, if he is doing anything. We, we will see about that. But yeah, I'm gonna, I wanna stay in his ECM bubble because that's kind of our life insurance for the early game. I also wanna be somewhat aggressive with my large pulse. The problem is that we have a very open and wide map here. And uh, we only have a 400 meter range, nominal range. We can shoot at about 800 meters. However, it's not really dealing damage at that, um, that distance. And I'm very prone to get shot and return by things. So, we're gonna watch this Fox 7 line. Raven is still here. I gotta watch that um, that that ECM bubble on the top right corner of the stream here. Um, mm, no. Nobody here yet. I'm gonna quickly take off. I'm out of ECM. No, I'm still in ECM, which is great. Yeah, Raven is also pushing slightly forward. Where are our enemies? They should be... Oh, there they are. Okay. So, I'm not gonna shoot yet. Uh, we don't want to give away our surprise. Also, I want to stay close to the Raven. It's very important. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody? No, they are still in the low ground. Interesting. So, what about the other side of the battlefield? There is an urban mech. There is... Man, that Highlander. I really want to get to him. At the same time, I... I'm very afraid of him as well. It's Charlie. There is the Warhammer 2C. Let's go for it. Nothing so far. I mean, they probably see us, right? Yeah, they have eyes. I mean, seriously. But still, we're gonna wait. Oh, look at that. My people have some fun with the Fafne there. It is a single Fafne who is horribly out of position, though. Nobody on the high ground. Oh, there we go. Actually, let's shoot him. I also drop artillery on his face. Let's see what it does. Maybe he is not alone. 
And there's a guy. We can we can just tap him a little bit. Yeah, nothing coming down. And that was a was a big miss in the end. But at the same time, I can try to okay, we can try to shoot him. And now I think Yeah, now I think I'm gonna drop another Arty Strike down there. Ooh, getting tagged by a Highlander. Is that guy running? Oh crap. Um, ATMs or what is it? Also, big, big NASCAR happening. We're gonna try to not be here. There's also big missiles coming in. Let's go for the enemy spider. Uh, yeah, he dropped a UAV. There's a UAV up in... You see that, right? Okay, let's go for the spider. Let's go for the legs. Trying to make it so that... Oh, good, 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 good. Arty strike there. Um, yeah, we're gonna try to drive him off. Is he alone? That's the question right now. I'm definitely gonna try to hold locks for my friends. Uh, let's go for his legs, why not? Alright, and now he's about to die. Right leg. Ooh, difficult. Got him. Very nice. So, important thing is that we're now gonna get to the team. And, uh, sure, we're gonna shoot a bit more while we are doing it. Um, that's bad. Let's try to somewhat stay in low ground and try to get into a good position again. And our pulse laser is rattling while we are doing it. Very nice. Get the Atlas, please. Get golf. Okay, we have the machine guns coming in. Great. LB20. Let's Actually, yeah, we could take it out. So, that thing is broken. What about this guy? Do we need help with the cheetah? We do need help with the cheetah here. Why not? Yeah, let's go. I'm on the cheetah. Okay. On the legs, on the cheetah. Just take him. Or maybe his bags. Ah, get the legs. Why not? So, there's a sun spider as well. On the sun spider delta. Look. Nope. 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 Big enemy. Scary enemy. Oh, shit. Heavy gauss. Heavy gauss. Fafnir Echo needs to go. Oh, boy. Is he going? Yeah, he's going for me. But he didn't connect. That was so important. Now we go for the sun spider. He's still running an ultra auto cannon 10. What else do we have here? Oh man, we need to open him up. Also, we need to be a bit more conservative with our machine guns. They're not really doing anything here. We can only go in when there is nothing in there anymore. Uh, when there's no armor anymore, that's what I mean. Ah, friendly fire, big time. What's Irby doing? Irby is fine. But I want to stay in the back of this dude. Trying to take that side torso off. Come on. Got him. So, 7 and 3. What a game. What a rush here. Uh-huh. Ooh, that was a big miss. We have a hundred shots left on the machine guns. I'm also completely stuck on a friend. No, you know what? We're gonna go for the bigger guys that are coming in here. Seven and four. Is this uh, is this game in the back? That's my question right now. Okay. Ooh, sorry. My bad. We got something. Uh, left or right? We're gonna go left, seemingly. So that's a kill. It's eight and four. I think this game is basically in the back, mostly. And that's my that's my last shot here. My last machine gun shot. So last guy, nine and four, is the Warhammer. It's not the last guy, but it's one of the last. Yeah, you can hit me. I'm gonna take that damage. And then we're gonna turn around again. Going for the leg of the Vapor Eagle so that he is not going anywhere. Left leg for the win. Left leg, I said. Or maybe his back. Got him there. Good job, team. That was well done. That was really cool. And yeah, we have that fast firing large pulse laser. We should really drop that cool shot. I completely forgot about that. So that should be a UAV. But we did it in the end. So we got three killing blows. We got eight assists, one kill, most damage dealt, 528 damage done, 167 taken still, and six components destroyed. That, my friends, was your daily dose for Mech Warrior Online. If you did enjoy the video, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you want more of this, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.